So from here, we should be able to climb this. It looks pretty awesome. Screenshot. <laughs> Hey guys, Clumsy here, and welcome back to Subnautica. In the previous episode, we worked on this starter base right here. We were able to build some solar panels. The actual base, it's a very simple one. This hatch, aboard, Captain. and that automated voice. And we were even able to make a fabricator in a locker. Now, I, and since then, I've got a lot of comments from you guys, so really thank you very much for all the support in this series. And uh, let me go through them, some of them. So, let me just go through my, the comments here. Lord Quinn mentioned that we can actually rename this beacon. If we go to the other side right here, I think on this side, edit beacon label. There we go. So we can label this as starter base. And that should reflect accordingly. Perfect. Yes, that's what I need. So thanks, Lord Quinn, for that. I also got some ideas on what to do. So Drizzler said, We need to fix the big ship. And by big ship, I'm assuming it's that ship. Right there. I'm not sure how we can do that, but maybe we'll go through there on that side in this episode. But I'll have to find a lot of silver ore because I have... Some things that I have, I want to build. Let me show you. So things like, uh, where is it? No, not that. This one, the rebreather. Absorb CO2 to recycle used air at greater depths. So I guess this would be required for when we're swimming at a very deep level. Might be. So I'll have to find some silver ores because that requires uh, fiber mesh, which is very easy. But it also requires a what, wiring kit, which requires two silver ores. Yeah. On top of that, I also want to try out the steel suit, which requires two silver ores again. And the dive reel, I think. No, no, is it dive reel? Might be. What else can we build? Yeah, so definitely a lot of silver ores, right? So I'll go through some of the other comments and tips you gave me as we go along. But in the meantime, I'll go and find silver ores again. And I'll be right back, guys. Hmm, what the heck is this thing? It's a floater. Let me see. Not sure what that does, but let's scan it. Alright, floater added to encyclopedia. Let's check it out. Floater... Scavenger, maybe? That one. More information needed. Huh. Attaching to large boulders. Appears entirely vulnerable to artificial detachment and indiscriminate in what it is attached to. So can we get one of those and put that in the base? Emergency. Maybe. Ten seconds of oxygen okay. remaining. We'll try that out later when I get back to base. But currently, I'm still in the process of going through and finding some silver ores. Be right back, guys. Okay, I'm back. Back at base, I don't really have any silver ores yet. But because of our food and hydration levels, I decided to go back to base and craft some water and food. So we got a lot of air sacs, so we can have a lot of filtered waters here. And I'm also going to be cooking things up. So that's already four. Actually five even, but we won't have enough power to craft everything. So let's prioritize. Yeah. And then Gary Fish. Unpowered crap. <laughs> Alright, so let's drink up first then. This one, one, two, three. That's perfect. Cook deeper, nice. So while we're waiting for power to come up, let's see how does this work exactly. All right, so this is a floater. If we release it there, oh crap. Why did it, no, 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 no. <laughs> Why did it get damaged? 
hull integrity restored. <laughs> Draining systems initiated. <laughs> okay, I don't get that. Well, okay, one more time. Maybe it was an accident. No, no, it really... It really destroys her base. That's so weird. Fine, fine, fine. Hull integrity restored. <laughs> Draining systems initiated. Okay, <laughs> that's not a good idea. So maybe that's really a harmful thing. Maybe we have to dispose of it. So let me just do that, guys. <laughs> I didn't expect a floater to have any purpose at all. All right. So I still haven't disposed of the floater, but I'm thinking there is this kind of structure here right next to our starter base and if we go inside what is this guy doing i think he's lost we can open it up yes there and we have to get some oxygen first one second there we go and if we look inside we should see some things here what is this a sea glide fragment. Don't really need that. But titanium is something that we're very much welcome to. But this one, sealed door, cut open to access. So we will need a laser thing there. So just to experiment, can we not use the floater to destroy that? Probably not, but. <laughs> no, it doesn't work. Alright, fine. Have it your way then. So we need a laser cutter for that. But a laser cutter requires diamonds and I'm not sure where you get diamonds anyway I'll go and find that silver ore eventually and I'll be right back oh and anyway one more thing uh, Jose Paz did give me a tip that you swim faster with both hands with without anything equipped so if you like this you swim slower than if you swim like this which seems correct and makes sense actually so i have to make sure that i unequip anything that i have in my hands before i go and swim out all right caution so i'll do just that of oxygen remaining all right this is the last piece mobile vehicle bay fragment uh-huh nice so i think that is something that we need to craft some of the bigger vehicles right Caution. but 30 seconds we'll of see what remaining. requirements those need in order to craft maybe later when we go back to base back in base it's night time again it took me quite some time to get some silver and i didn't get everything i needed but i think we can get started at the very least so we do have still suit three silver ores. We need fiber mesh. Oh, I need to get creep fine sample. All right. So let just let me just get some, um just deposit some of these because we don't really need that much titanium, right? And then the air sacs, all the air sacs actually. <laughs> I'm getting all of them now so we can have water, unlimited water look at my food and water levels they're down again crap and the bad thing about this is since we have solar panels at night time they don't get recharged which kind of sucks but i guess it's realistic all right let's just eat that up nice okay we're good to go and let me go and find some pretty Refine samples it should be right here. Yeah, these should do. One, two, three, four. Inventory full. Oh, these are big. Hmm. Alright, let's do them one at a time then. This sea glide thing is super cool. Only thing is, it only has 26% power left. So I'm not sure how to recharge that afterwards. Can we have enough? Oh, I don't think we'll have enough power. Oh, crap. <laughs> Alright. Alright, fine, fine, fine. 
I'll wait for daytime then, guys. Okay, I think I should have enough now. And look at this. Oh, right. Exchange power source. I do have an extra battery, so... Um, how do we do this? Previous, down, left, right. Okay, you can just switch it like this. And click like that. Okay, perfect, perfect, that works. So we just need extra batteries. And I think because there's also now a... Uh, how do you call it? A recharging station where we can recharge our batteries. These used up batteries should still be left in here. I don't want to throw them out. This one. So let me store this out right here. And when we get enough resources and access, we'll recharge it up. But for now, what I want to build for my own sake is the fiber mesh. And then the still suit. Perfect, this one. Reclaims moisture from body. Because the radiation suit is nice and all, but um, it's not really every place that has radiation, right? So sometimes we need this better. A still suit. Uh, can you not swap that? Left. Okay, unequip first and then equip. Still suit equipped. And capturing body moisture. Perfect, capturing body moisture. That's what we need. And then the radiation suit, we can go and deposit like this. How do you? <laughs> it doesn't fit. Right click. There we go. Okay, so it rearranges itself to fit. That's perfect. Nice logic there. So now, eventually, as we go along, we should get some kind of water thing that we can drink. I don't want to imagine where that really comes from, but <laughs> as long as it's treated as water, right? What is this? Copper? Titanium. Alright, fine. So, we did get that new blueprint, that mo mobile vehicle bay blueprint, I think it's called. And uh, PHP the Gamer said, it's something that's very useful because it allows you to create... Oh, I don't have enough... It allows you to create some of the vehicles, like the sea moth, I think. But we'll soon find out, because I'm trying to craft that. I'm just not sure where we can deploy it. If we can just deploy it somewhere here nearby. But I'm not really that particular about the location, since in this game, we're not really wasting any resources, right? We can simply deconstruct it, and it should be good. So let me make some a lubricant. And we'll need also a silicone rubber, but we don't have enough. But because I, what I'm building is this one. Mobile vehicle bay. We do have one lubricant. We need titanium ingot and a power cell. Now for the titanium ingot, that needs 10 titanium, you think? Yeah, we still we only have 6, but we should have some in our locker. So 1, 2, 3, 4. Should be enough to make one titanium ingot. Perfect. Now, I would imagine that would be big in the inventory. And actually, it's not. It's just one slot. That's cool. It would be nice if you can do it like that and then deconstruct it later on. So you can save on some space. If you get what I mean. But anyway, so what we still need is one power cell. And for the power cell, we need the two batteries, which I already have, and one silicone rubber. Silicone rubber is super easy. We just need uh, two seed, seed clusters. All right. So I'll take you guys with me. It should be very fast. It's just here. But we just got a while ago. So we'll get two of these. Actually, let me get, let me get as much as I can. Because I want to craft something else. One more, please. Ah, inventory full. Why not have enough water? Let's drink that. Ah, oh, still. Um, okay, one more. Alright. Perfect. The sea glide is really an amazing thing. Very handy. Only thing is the power is really... It really gets low quickly. Not something that I really like to do. But anyway. Let's make that silicone rubber. 
Let's make one lubricant. I would need that for something else. I'll show you in a bit. And now we should be able to make a power cell. Right, so. And now we should have enough for our mobile bay, vehicle bay. That's it. Perfect. Now, how does that look? That looks humongous. Fabricates vehicles from raw materials. Makes sense. Seeing as it's a vehicle bay. Alright, what is this? Oh, not that. So, we should be able to release this one if we uh, right click is it like that no, i don't think so let's equip it and then like this oh wait all right there and then we do a right click right here there we go okay so it floats to the water perfect i hope i just hope it doesn't drift it's like the life pod so from here, we should be able to climb this. It looks pretty awesome. Screenshot. <laughs> Alright. And uh, how do you do this now? Use vehicle bay. Wait a minute. Pick up mobile vehicle bay. No. I want to use it. I don't get it. Alright, so they are hiding now, but if I use it again... Alright. Why is nothing happening? Is this a bug? Okay, I got it. <laughs> so it turns out that if you don't have the sea moth or cyclops blueprint, it doesn't do anything. So it's all fancy and stuff with all these things flying around. But when you do a left click, nothing happens, right? You can see my mouse here, but there's no nothing, no menu or not, no any, no warning or anything. But that's how it works. So we'll have to find a sea moth blueprint first before we do anything, right? So at this point, we don't have that. So I guess that will come later on. Let's just leave it there for now. Welcome aboard, Captain. And what I also wanted to build, since I'm getting fed up of not having power at night and it's night time, perfect, is to build one more source of power. And what I had in mind is this guy, the bioreactor, which requires four titanium and one lubricant, which is very easy. Four titanium is easy. Lubricant is also easy. That's just from the clusters that we got earlier. So let's go and build this. It will get a bit cramped in here, but it does look pretty cool. I like it. So does it work? And how does it work? Okay, there's a menu here. Use bioreactor. Compose organic items into energy. Ah. Oh, we do have reclaimed water right here. Look, this is what we get when we... Because of that still suit. So we... we hmm. Food gets reduced by 3, but H2O gets increased by 20. That's a nice trade-off. And then for this particular bioreactor, we need to get some test subjects. Some unwilling test subjects, maybe. <laughs> Flashlight? Yes. Any fishies around? Yes, there it is. Come on. There we go. A boomerang. And maybe let's get some more. Since we need some food anyway. Alright, I'm back at base. We do have some fishies now. Let's go and test it out. So if we drop a boomerang right there, it's active. And I guess it somehow converts that boomerang into renewable energy right there. That doesn't look so... Uh, oh crap, look at that, that's the fish. Oh, that's like a blender. <laughs> I'm uh, not sure if I like how that does things. Might be a bit too morbid, but huh, how much power will that give? Let's just put everything here. Yeah, so that provides an alternate source when it's nighttime. And now we can go and craft up some food. Like so. 
So let's go and eat up. Mm, not really need it right now, but anyway, yeah, that's, uh, that's okay. Alright. So this guy is still processing. No, I'm not sure how fast that goes. It might be the bigger the fish, the faster this is as well. But it looks a very steady increase in power. Look at that. Doesn't look too bad. I'll take that anytime. Alright guys, so we've done quite a lot in this episode, but I think that's going to be it for now. Oh, we did, And we did get some reclaimed water, if you look at my upper left. Reclaimed water, let's go and drink one of those. Perfect. Now we have almost full food and water. And what the heck is this? Looks very scary. Well, let's go and get through here slowly. I'm expecting one of those exploding things to just pop out of nowhere. Actually, there's nothing except maybe in this side. Yeah? Hmm, huh, interesting. It's not really much here. And it just goes through. <laughs> That's so weird. We do have this. Huh. Let's go and explore that one more time. Let's go with the sea glide. Make it faster. Alright, and then go up here. I wonder what's in here though. Oh, it's nothing. <laughs> it's cool and all, but there's nothing inside. Anyway, guys. So in this episode, we were able to make, finally, uh, what do you call this again? A mobile vehicle bay. But currently, we don't have anything for it because we don't have the blueprints for the sea moth nor the cyclops. But at the same time, we also were able to build that bioreactor. Oh, this is cool. We can see from outside that bioreactor. So we now have an extra source of energy. And that not only increases the production of energy, it also increases the cap. So we see power is 150 now compared to just uh, 50 before, I think. Yeah. And it's still processing the food. Our power is still increasing. Perfect. But yeah, that's going to be it for this episode, guys. I hope you guys like it. If you did enjoy, please do hit up that thumbs up button. And do subscribe for more updates. In the meantime, that's going to be it. This is the Clumsy Geek signing off. Thanks for watching, guys, and have a nice day. Bye -bye. Crap! One of those exploding things? Alright, we're safe. <laughs> Bye, guys.